All right, well, hello there. I am starting the vlog on Saturday at 10.30 at night. Yeah, it's a little different. Uh, but I spent the day uh, packing and invoicing. I did not have mail pick up. Uh, so I just spent the day packing and invoicing. Um, so uh, had a pretty productive day. And um, just had the Saturday night live sale. So a big thank you to everyone who was able to uh, join Sabrina and myself. And uh, if you weren't able to join but watch are watching on the replay, thank you for that. Um, so um, for the sale, we bring 20 items to sell. I sold eight items, so 12 items are still available. So let's talk about those 12 items. I am gonna flip around here so we can talk about what is still available. So we have the Fenton Star Sunfish. The Fenton Sunfish. It has a beautiful iridescence to it and uh, this one says that Fenton uh, first made it in, in 1930 and 1933. Uh, this piece is from the 90s. So it, it has um, not been removed from its package. So that beautiful um, iridescence. That one is $25. Uh, this is a Navajo dream catcher little pottery piece it is signed O Billy and it is marked Navajo the coloring on this is gorgeous and the design also absolutely beautiful uh, so this piece is $30 uh, the Joseph's original little piano girl she does have her, um, ooh, somewhere on here, she has her sticker. Where did her sticker go? Oh, maybe it's on the back of the piano. There it is. So she does have her Joseph original, and then she does also have a Japan uh, sticker. And she is $20. Uh, the Alaska Pottery Teapot and Creamer. So this is what naturally happens with the Alaskan clay, also known as Sitka clay. Um, it is a beautiful effect. And it's $25 for the teapot and creamer. Uh, I have the Stone Heart. This is a stone carved heart that is $15. Uh, this is a beautiful and large mug. This is a really large one. This is about as big as my head. Um, it is. It does have a little symbol down there, which I consider an artist's signature. There is um, a slight chip right here but I don't know I don't know when that happened um, but there is a little bit of a chip there beautiful piece but here is my hand and it barely fits across there that's a big mug uh, that is $14 uh, then we have the brooch so this is a beautiful black and Aurora Borealis bead brooch. You can see that beautiful rainbow effect. Um, so from what I can tell, this is black. This next ring around is black. This third one right next to the edge is all Aurora Borealis. And then the outer edge is a combination. This marquee shape is Aurora Borealis, but the round is black. And so when you look at it, you have black, black, 
Aurora Borealis, and then a combo. And look at the beautiful colors on that. That piece is amazing. Uh, this is $15. Uh, then we have this blue vintage pearl bead necklace. Now, okay, sometimes I just don't connect the dots. Yeah, this one should have had a third strand. It does not. So it's just a two strand necklace. Um, this is going to, uh, uh, this is, um, a 16 inch necklace. And that is going to be $8. And then this is a three-strand necklace. This is beautiful with these big beads. And these also have a little Aurora Borealis coating on them. This one is a little larger um, at an 18-inch for the shortest strand. And that is $12. Uh, the pair of Occupied Japan Bird uh, Salt and Pepper Shakers. There it does say Made in Occupied Japan. The cork is in this one. It's just pushed in all the way. And this one, I think, yep, it has a very slight paint loss right there. Uh, that set is $12.00. I have these beautiful clip-on earrings. They are rather large. Gorgeous detailing on that. And these are $10. And then this fun amber glass bead necklace, kind of in a pin style. And that one is $10. All right, so those are the 12 items that are still available. Uh, the eight items that sold, I have the uh, maple syrup bottle. We have the, um, this is a Navajo horsehair vase. Um, yep, I had another blue hand, so that sold. Um, this fantastic ramen bowl, the colors on here are gorgeous. Uh, this very possibly is a Murano shoe uh, with the, the lattice work. And this piece also very possibly is a Murano bowl with the controlled bubbles. Uh, Ellie Smith toothpick holder with the cute little bird on it. And this lovely Amberina with the Kanawa sticker still on it. Uh, yeah, so those are the eight items that I did sell around. All right, so I am going to um, get the table a little organized, get the items that sold uh, upstairs because tomorrow is all going to be about packing and invoicing. Uh, plus, I need to start setting up for the Monday morning sale, so I'm going to need that table. All right, uh, but I still do want to get to bed at a reasonable time tonight. Uh, so, um, I am, well, we'll see what happens tomorrow. See if I do any, um, any tomorrow, um, and when you'll see this, but, um, but that is going to wrap up the Saturday portion of the vlog. All right. Well, hello. It is October 2nd. It is still technically morning and uh, after the morning sale on uh, Monday. Uh, so two sales on Monday. Um, morning sale. We'll talk about what sold and what is still available. And then I have to get ready for the um, afternoon slash evening sale, depending on your time zone which I do every Monday with Jen. And uh, and I have to get a little more postage done uh, before the mail carrier gets here. So 
busy days on Monday, but that's good. I like, I like busy days. Uh, so for the sale today, I brought, uh, 53 items and 25 of them sold. So 28 are still available. So I'm going to tilt my camera down here. We're going to talk about the 28 items that are still available. So we have this vintage how to paint on china or porcelain um, is really what it is, how to paint on porcelain. So this is a vintage book. Uh, I don't think it says what year. I think these were from either the 60s or the 50s. Uh, but yeah, it gives tips tips, techniques, all the tools you will need to create beautiful works on the porcelain or china. That is $3. Uh, this one is silk ribbons. Um, not only is it pillows and sachets, but it also includes, do they have pictures of it on the cover here? Um, but there are brooches and, um, and pendants. So yeah, you can make jewelry also, which I thought was really neat. So here are earrings, small heart brooch. Yeah, so from teeny, teeny, tiny to the bigger pillows. Um, this is how to make silk ribbon angels, and this one is $2.00. Um, I'll show you this side and then I'll show you the other side. It's a little easier to see. This is silver on black velvet and it's called velvet trimmings and these are iron-on transfers. Um, love at home, home sweet home, lots of cute little homes and that one is one dollar. One dollar for the iron-on transfers. Uh, this is a fun book. It is a hundred years old. It did have its uh, 1923 copyright. And that is the author. And it is called Successful Patents, which is the whole process of getting a patent. Now, I don't think the process has changed that much, so a really neat book, 100 years old, all about patents. And that one is $3. Uh, we've got Five Little Peppers and How They Grew. Uh, this book came out originally in the 60s, but this is the... Oh, I guess it's this way. This is the 1978 printing of the book. It is a hardcover book. And it has... How many pages? I don't know. 50, so maybe about 60 pages in it. And this book is $3.00. We've got Tiki Tiki Tembo. Uh, this book is about two boys, a kite, a well, their mom, the guy with the ladder. <laughs> it is an award-winning book that was originally written in the late 60s. This is the 2007 um, print of the book. And it's got some beautiful graphics in it. Uh, this one is $2. This is Big, Big Favorite Stories. Uh, this one does have a little damage. It is from the 40s. It's a Whitman book. Uh, the first part of the book is all dog stories. So right in here, these are all dog stories. There's 128 pages of dog stories and illustrations. The back part of the book, let me see if I can get to the back part of the book here. Uh, the back part is Black Beauty. So beautiful horse story. 
Black Beauty, 128 pages. And this book is five dollars. Um, all right, then we're going to go over to some patterns here. I've got Here Come the Indians. I have two of these. They are days of the week. Um, just a, I got Joe here. Just a sec. All right, I am back. Um, so these are uh, iron-on transfers, so you can do days of the week towels. Um, I've got two of them for Here Come the Indians. They are still originally sealed, and they are $5 each. Okay, then we have Dottie the Duck. That is a, a days of the week also. Dottie the Duck, that is $5, and it is still sealed. Uh, cows and horses, so iron-on transfers for cows and horses, and this is $5, still sealed. Uh, this one has been opened, but nothing has been done with it, and this one is the Nursery Rhymes. So we've got Simple Simon, Bo Peep, Mary and Her Lamb, Blue Boy, Miss Muffet, and Jack B. Nimble. Okay, then we've got some patterns. These are $4 each. Um, this one has a unicorn, a zebra, a horse, and a, um, a giraffe. And that pattern, all uncut, Still original. That one is a four dollars. This one includes the pattern for the bear and the outfits. So the bear and the outfits. It is four dollars. This one I have been trying to figure out and trying to find. Um, it has. It's like Disney princess pillows. So you can see all the Disney princesses in here. They're on the instructions, but I just, I don't see the, the um, I don't see the princesses. So I'm not 100% sure if the princesses are included in here. I didn't unfold it because it is all still folded up um, and uncut. So this one is $4 for the pillows. This is a vintage 1963 uncut um, baby doll for 8 inch and 10 inch dolls. You get all the outfits including this that they consider like a little hanger for the doll. You get all those outfits uncut 1963. Uh, this one is 1972 and it is for a 17 and a half inch slender doll from 1972. This pattern um, is $5. And this one is for a 14 inch doll. So 14 inch doll, you get all of these outfits. And that one is $4. And then this one is for a 23 inch doll. She'll, she's bigger, 23 inch doll. And this one is $4. All right, then we're gonna go over here. This is a Seattle Seahawks, but it is an activity book. It has um, pages to color in. It's got games and puzzles. And it's good for any kind of a football lover. Doesn't have to be just for the Seahawks, but any football lover. Uh, this one is $2. Then we've got the really, really, really odd coloring book. This has got some really bizarre pictures. It is vintage, either late 50s or early 60s. Um, yeah, it's just got some really, really weird stuff in here. 
I'm not quite sure where the images came from. Um, maybe, maybe some child's imagination um, drew some of these. But um, here, making friends in nature, that's nice. A dog chasing balloons, that's a little odd. Um, ripe fruit, okay. But yeah, there's just some really, really, hello ghost. It's a little odd, a little odd to be in a coloring book. Um, so this one is um, $8 for the oddity and the um, in full bloom. Yeah, dandelions, because you know, they bloom too. Uh, <laughs> this very strange uh, coloring book is um, $8. This book is all on Russian icons. Um, so these are images that would be in Russian Orthodox churches. This book is in English and in Russian. The images are lovely in here. So it's mostly an art book, kind of religious art book. And this one is $3. Okay, this is Scenes of the World to Come. Um, this is good if you have an interest in architecture, maybe even city planning, um, or just like really cool industrial style graphics. Uh, this book has got a lot of really neat, uh, very industrial style graphics and architecture designs. Um, yeah, it's, it's fascinating. And each one you can see like little works of art in here. And this book is $5. And it says it spans from 1893 to 1960. So yeah, you're going to get into some old style architecture in here. But uh, yeah, very interesting. So that is that book. Um, then I've got this beautiful book on horses. This is also $5 for the gorgeous book on horses. Lovely full color pictures. There are um, European and American and wild and large horses, all kinds of different horses in here. And so that one is $5 for that book. And then we've got Hummels. So if you are a Hummel collector, at all interested in becoming a Hummel collector. This book came out in 79, I think. So, you know, don't go by the prices, but it's a wealth of knowledge with all of the graphics in here and kind of explanations about all of the different figurines. So uh, that one is $5 for the Hummel book. And then I've got a few more patterns. So we've got Raggedy Ann and Andy. These are 20 inch dolls, along with a little carrying box for them, for the 20 inch dolls. This one has been partially cut. And then it also, when I was playing around in here, there also are some um, extra stencil type things in here to help with the face. So that one is $4. Uh, this one is for an 18 inch doll. We got a little swimsuit, um, equestrian, a ballerina, and a soccer player. And this is a Vogue pattern, and that is $4. This is for an 18 inch 
um, American Girl style doll. All of those cute outfits. And that one is $4. And then this one is another Vogue pattern for an 18 inch doll. And that one is $4. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the items that did sell. So some of the transfers we had, um, oops, this one was the Colonial Girls, the Kittens, a pattern that had an elephant, giraffe, pig, and cat, the Holly Hobby, Barbie and you, so you can have matching outfits with your Barbie, and then this one is all Barbie, Barbie and Ken. Uh, this one includes the pattern for the doll and the cat and the clothes. And then this one is all of the, the Disney princesses for an 18 inch doll. And this one is a fantasy for an 18 inch doll. We've got some cute outfits here, including a bathrobe. That's for an 18 inch, and all of these little dresses are for an 18 inch doll. And then this one with the little chef's hat. That's also an 18 inch doll. Okay, then we have um, Memories of My Altar Boy, Boy Days 1958. This is, it has some stories in it, but it also has um, like a calendar of events for the altar boys. This is a fun autograph book from 1942. It um, does have a bunch of blank pages in here. I thought this could be nice for a junk journaler to be able to use some of those colored pages and then also incorporate um, some of these pages into a junk journal. Uh, this is, yeah, the back of an old TV and all of the tubes and what they mean. So you can dial it up into what type of um, TV you have and then have a better understanding of the tubes and stuff that are in the back. Uh, we've got a Superman poster from 1978, cotton press molds, a cookbook with really good graphics for kids, uh, the Color Me coloring book, that's a vintage one from 62, Home Sweet Home, another uh, book, co adult coloring book. Uh, the Smithsonian. So this tours all of the Smithsonian's and has great pictures in it. Uh, two Norman Rockwell books. That one and that one. Lots of illustrations, a bit of a biography. And then the Royal Souvenirs book. Uh, this one really focuses on um, like uh, Queen Victoria up to Queen Elizabeth, those years in between. Um, yeah, really, really interesting. Different from what we're used to seeing with collectibles. And then this awesome patchwork design tiles by, I think it's Ibu. And so inside there are 64 tiles. You can take them and, um, and design awesome things with them. So that is sold. So I am now going to get postage ready, um, get the table organized, and um, get my items ready for the sale that is going to be happening in about three hours. Uh, plus, I'm going to need to grab some lunch also. So a lot to do in three hours, but I can get it done. Um, so... I will check in with you again probably once I get the mail done and we'll take a look at what's going out today. All right, well, I've been getting the postage ready and um, 
I got an email from someone who watched the sale kind of after the sale and picked up two additional items. So let me show you. It also sold. So the cows and horses transfer and the horses book. So yay, both of those sold. So that is awesome. I will add those two um, of items that I am taking upstairs. So I'm gonna take you over to the front door now where I have 12 packages so far ready to go out. Let me turn the camera around. So I've got four boxes and let's see if that's 12 and four, so eight eight um, little envelopes, poly mailers, all that good stuff. One on top there and then about six, seven down there. Um, yeah, so I've got 12 items going out so far today. And entering uh, my email until either the sale starts or the mail carrier comes. And if more, um, more payments come in, then I will print out those labels and get those boxes down here. But for now, I'm going to finish up with the table and I'm going to grab some lunch. So now I will probably see you again after the sale. All right. Well, it's about 530 my time. Uh, the afternoon evening sale um, has wrapped up and I've got the cats fed and I've got the table organized. And so let's go ahead and talk about the sale. Uh, so we bring 15 items to the sale. I decided before I packed up um, the Halloween stuff, I would give it one more shot. And um, so I brought kind of half Halloween, half not Halloween. Um, but because I also brought some choice items, that left uh, 18 items that I ended up bringing to the sale. I sold six items, uh, but I also sold an item from the morning sale. Um, so let's go ahead. I'll go through real quick six items that sold. So I have these little Halloween ornaments, a book called Bury the Dead. Um, it's a scholastic book with the Smithsonian. Uh, the peanuts. <laughs> thank you, thank you to the person that bought the peanuts a Day of the Dead collection. Those are really cool. A glass and a mug. Um, this brooch that I had at, you saw it in the Saturday sale. Um, but that one I decided to go ahead and bring again. And that sold. And then I had a single sherbet and a pair of glasses, um, coffee cups of uranium glass. And then the Hummel book was the one from this morning that sold. Okay, so what Halloween didn't sell and that I'm going to go ahead and pack up um, because, yeah, I've had these in a few sales. Nobody wants them. That's okay. Um, I will hang on to them. So I have the little witch. Um, she's got a really cute um, moon and stars hat. I've got the nylon Snoopy, the felt plush Snoopies. We've got the sheriff, the pumpkin, two Frankensteins. Um, I have the Sully. Yeah, he doesn't light up, but he still is really cute. So Sully in his costume. I've got the black cat basket and the Mickey as Jack Skellington and Pluto as Zero. And I've got this awesome, I think this is just wonderful, this great Halloween village. It's ceramic. Um, and then some non-Halloween items. Yep, a teacup and saucer. This is a leaf design. So beautiful colors for fall with the leaf design. Uh, that is bone china made in England. And then I have got this beautiful single candle holder. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you prices on the items. Um, 
These guys are $4 each. These Snoopies are $5. Sully is eight. The basket is eight. The pair of uh, Mickey and Pluto are 20. The Ceramic Village, 20. $12 on the cup and saucer and $10 on the candle holder. And then I've got the castle set. Um, this is a, a window, a dungeon set, and then a drawbridge and some trumpets on that one. Um, and that set is $10. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get the table organized. I'm going to have some dinner. I am going to set up for tomorrow's sale. And then we'll see what I've got time left to do. Um, but that is the plan uh, for tonight. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow.